Alrighty, friends, how you doing? Uh, Jim's uh, New Brunswick homestead. Um, I've got a uh, problem here. Uh, last night, I was trying to run the wood stove. And uh, I believe what happened was the flues plugged with creosote because it shut off and it started pumping smoke backwards hard into the house. So, um, this is my flue pipe coming out of the stove itself. Sorry about the light. Let's see if I get a better light going on here. It's affecting the focus and everything. Now she don't want to focus. There we go. So, um, I took out the screws. I marked the pipes just in case I put stuff down on the floor and I can't remember how to put it back together again. So what I'm going to try to do, I don't know if the camera shows this. This is on an incline, this pipe here, right here. It's on an incline, about uh, 25 degrees or so. And uh, I'm going to try to clean this out. So what I wanted to show you, though, as I just started this, I didn't do a start video because you know what? I was concerned about doing this video in the first place because I don't want people to do this if they don't feel qualified enough to do it. But... That being said, this is the first thing that I found right there. And you can see that's creosote. Because what happened was I was feeling the pipe from underneath while the stove was running and it was ice cold. The top here was hot. Down under here was cold. And I'm thinking, well, that ain't right. So um, that lead me to believe. And then when I bumped it, all of a sudden, a big puff of smoke come out of the front of the wood stove, and I'm like, uh-oh. So I shut the dampers down, and I let her go out. So I'm going to pull this pipe out, and then we'll see what's inside. Stand by. There you go. Completely plugged off. I don't know if you can see up in there. Have a look at this. Wow. All right. Now we know what our mission is. Sorry. I've got reading glasses on. I'm trying to do this. That's why the pipe's cold. All right. So, shop back time. We're going to try to clean all this shit out. Sorry. Crap all out and see what goes on. That gives you an idea what we're looking for. Okay, so what I did here was I cleaned this pipe first before I'm going to take it off now and work my way further up. And the only reason why I vacuumed it first, I didn't want a video shot back because that's just annoying, was so I didn't pour it all out of the floor. So I'm going to pull this off and then we'll get another shot up inside. Oh my lord. Trying to get you a shot. Where'd it go? If you can see that little bit of light, that's all the way up to the chimney cap. So I ran the inspection there. I don't know how good you guys can see that, but. I can see the detail of the pipe all the way up. So that's what I did was I took my inspection mirror because I don't have any tools to do this. <coughs> I got a shop back and a broomstick and a couple other things. But what I need is a set of brushes and I don't have them. And today's a, this is a long weekend so you can see the, the apparatus that I came up with was an inspection light stuck in a, this is actually a closet clothesline clothes pole so I stuck that in there yeah I stuck that in there I'm sicker than a dog I've been sick all night I was up all night with an earache I got a head cold that ended up in my ear but you know we almost choked us out last night so um what I'm doing here is not telling you how to clean your own chimney I don't know that you can or cannot take that take that responsibility I recommend a professional chimney sweep they seem to be in short supply in this area. Uh, I got to get this up and going. It seems to be okay. Uh, I have a, I have, a ha I have had a chimney inspector in here a couple of years ago, 
and basically he said is uh, sorry about the light they'll run till they plug up which exactly what happened he was 100 percent right um so that's what i did that's what i'm doing i don't recommend doing this yourself uh, i'm not even telling you how to do it i'm telling you what i did and that's it so please don't take it upon yourself if you're not sure but i just wanted to clean that pipe out you guys saw what it looked like and i got to get my wood stove up and going so that's basically it in a nutshell uh I, I don't feel like making videos today i'm just dead to the world but i wanted to share that with you guys if anything it's informative on why you should get a chimney sweep done why you should maintain your wood burning equipment um there's different recommendations now an aggravator to all this is improperly seasoned wood I did run some, uh, we'll call it wet wood, moist wood for a while. And it wasn't properly seasoned, and that's what I ended up with. I think that was an aggravator to all this. So I'm going to continue on, clean this up. I'll give you a shot of it, put back together, and then you guys decide. Uh, let this be an information uh, video on keeping your chimney clean. Vis-a-vis, -vis, uh, either really know what the hell you're doing or hire somebody who does. I don't know what a chimney sweep costs. Um, but for 150 bucks or something like that, I'd pay that all day long just for the guy to have all. It's going to cost me almost $200 in equipment anyway. So, but I'll wait and see. I'll, I got to get into uh, into town uh, when the store is open back up and get some equipment, some brushes and rods. And then I'll get, uh, I'll go up on the roof and then we'll clean it out that way. But it looks pretty good. I can see straight shot right up there. Little bit of hanging on the sides. Nothing crazy. Uh, it's not plugged off. I don't think there's enough creosote in there to get rolling. So anyway, um, I'll put I'll give you shot once back together again, and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care, and don't hey, don't forget like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll be right back. Sucked up the screw, but it fell out. Lucky me. Oh, buddy. Did you see that? That was full right up. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put this back together. I just wanted to show you guys uh, what we're up against here. Sorry, I'm bending over. Yeah, let me get this back together, and then we'll talk to you in a bit. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'm sick. I'm not doing well. But look, there's the after shot. You can see right into the T. Um, I don't know if that's going to focus way there at the back. I can't tell because... Let me put my glasses on. Yeah, there's a good shot right back to the T where all the debris falls down. So she's pretty good. I'll just clean up that last little bit and we'll call her done. And uh, getting good airflow now. So I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Okay. There we are. I'll back together again. Uh, should be working good. Cleaned everything up. I'll uh, I'll let you know what goes on, and uh, I'll be back in the bed. I just gotta 
catch my breath and maybe get a fire going. We'll see you soon. All right, she's up running, got a fire in her. I've got pipe nice and warm here. Get pipe warm underneath. Oh, yes. Oh, getting nice and hot. That's perfect all the way around. So that's the key indicator, sluggish burn. Lots of charcoal left over. You should have nothing but powdery ash when you're done with a burn. If you don't, I'm talking on my video. And if you don't, there's a problem. So we got everything done. Today's uh, Canadian Thanksgiving, so uh, Mrs. Homestead's doing the turkey for the kids. I'm under the weather. I'm not much help today other than getting this catastrophe taken care of. There you go, kids. That's a nice fire. You can hear the wood stoves breathing a little bit. So that's good. Uh, dampers, we'll give her a little bit of damperage, get her warmed up, because she ain't gonna run real good till the box is all nice and hot. Okay, I'm done with this. Uh, if you're Canadian, happy Thanksgiving. If you're not, sucks to be you. Um, thanks for uh, tuning into another one of my videos. Wow, this one could have been bad. It could have been a video of a house burning down, maybe. Who knows? It's not cool. Anyway, I'm done. It's time to uh, peace out, and we'll see you soon.